roots. We need systemic transformation. Stop looking for superheroes to save you. That's your problem. Jesus is a superhero. The big problem with black folks is we're waiting for a superhero because we want no part of the responsibility to save ourselves. We're always looking for a superhero. Whether they come out the Bible, whether they come out the Quran, whether they come out the Torah, we're always looking for a superhero to save black folks. No, 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 no. Black people will not be saved by a superhero. Black people will be saved by working together or black people will be destroyed. It's really just that simple. We are halfway in the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. We are halfway in the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. We are halfway into the cemetery as a people anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. You wanted to assimilate into white America and that's exactly what you got. Full assimilation. They have assimilated you so much that you don't even matter anymore. That's what you get for wanting to be an assimilationist. You're not an integrationist. Dr. King was an integrationist. Medgar Evers was an integrationist. Integrationists fight for access to resources and opportunities. We don't fight for access for resources and opportunities. Integrationists have courage. They fight for a share of the American dream. Al Sharpton doesn't fight for a share of the American dream. You're not an integrationist. I can respect an integrationist. You are an assimilationist. Let me in. I will keep quiet and I will imitate you to the fullest extent of my ability. I will imitate the Caucasian so much that I won't even be recognizable. And once I am no longer recognizable, I can be ignored. Politically and economically irrelevant. So the only thing left for them to do to a politically and economically irrelevant group of people, the only thing left to do to an Ill, economically and politically irrelevant group of people, extermination. But they're not going to do it themselves. They're going to let the immigrants do it. The immigrants are going to declare war on black America in the next 10 years. I feel sorry for those of you who don't live in black communities. The black ghetto you ran away from with all the gang banging and murders might be the safest place in America. The black ghetto that you couldn't wait to get out of because of the poverty and the stress might be the safest place in black America. I feel sorry for you black bourgeoisies. I feel sorry for you black bourgeoisies. I feel sorry for you black bourgeoisies because once the war against black America starts, once the war against black America starts, you will not be safe. You will not be safe. You spent all your money and all your time running away from black people. What you going to do, being the only black family in that all white neighborhood when they declare war against African people? The purge is real. The purge is already happening. They simply haven't turned up the intensity yet. They cooking us nice and slow right now. They just got us on a nice little warm. They warming us up right now. You're being warmed up. Wait till they start boiling that water. Wait until they toss your ass in that oven. They just getting us warmed up right now. And I'm telling you right now, all the serious black people need to get together and start organizing. We can't save everybody. We can't save everybody. All the serious black people need to get organized and get together. We need to get armed. We need to get our food together. We need to have an escape plan. We need to figure out what cities are the best grounds to fight on. Where are we going to make a stand? Where are the best 
cities to make a stand. And they will be your blackest cities and your blackest states. The places black people don't like to, your Memphis, Tennessee, that needs to be a stand, a stand your ground city. Detroit needs to be a stand your ground city. Gary, Indiana needs to be a stand your ground city. I don't know about Chicago. Y'all been gentrified too heavily. I don't know about Chicago, but Gary, Indiana should be a stand your ground city. Jackson, Mississippi should be a stand your ground city. We got to start having conferences. We are so politically irrelevant right now. I don't think we realize it. I don't think we realize it. It all started with Barack Obama. Not because of anything he did, but because of what you didn't do. You let the Obama presidency take you completely off the table of conversation because you was happy just to have a black president. You was happy just to have a black president. New Orleans, I don't know because they'll just blow up the levees again, New Orleans. New Orleans, you have to go to Mississippi. New Orleans, you got to get to Jackson or somewhere. They'll just blow the levees up. I could be wrong, but I don't see New Orleans as a stand your ground city. It's too easy to flood us. You're below sea level. It's too easy for them to flood us out of New Orleans. From a military science perspective, it's too easy for them to flood us out of New Orleans. You know what else they're going to do if they go to war? You thought the Gulf War had too many black men in it? Wait about, wait till this war happens. When they do the military draft, they're going to try to send every black man they can overseas. If they start the military draft, they're going to try to send every black man they can overseas. They start the military draft, they're going to try to send every black man they can overseas. I hope every black man has a passport. Brothers, get your passport. When they start recruiting, disappear into Africa. I'm going into the bush, brothers and sisters. I'm going into the bush. I'm going into the bushes of Nigeria. I'm going into the bushes of Ghana. I'm going into the wilderness of Kenya. I'm going into the mountains of the Congo. Y'all will see me when the war is over. Get your passport, black man. Pay off your child support and get your passport. Pay off your child support and get your passport. Pay off your child support and get your passport. We better start growing our own food. We better start growing our own food. Let me say this. If there's anybody watching this, who's interested in coming to FDMG this summer. We got about nine weeks of summer left. If there's anybody watching this who is a gardener and a farmer, I would like you to come to FDMG this summer and get our community garden started this summer. Who wants to come help us out? We cannot afford to pay you. This is volunteerism, but we have we have some grassland around the school. I need you to help us choose where the community garden should be. And I want you to help us plant some crops ASAP. ASAP. Where my gardeners at? Where my farmers at? Where my gardeners at? Where my farmers at? Come to FDMG because FDMG is going to have to be an emergency shelter for black America. I'm just going to keep it real. FDMG is going to have to be an emergency shelter for black America. Wilmington, Delaware will be a stand your ground city. It's predominantly black anyway. Wilmington, Delaware will be a stand your ground city. If you live in Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, or anywhere else in America, if you know how to grow food, please get in touch with me. I want to start our community garden this summer. Who coming out? Who coming out? I want to take a whole week and start planting all around FDMG. Who's coming out? Who's coming out? 
Let's start growing crops on campus right now. Let's start growing crops on campus right now. If you serious, text my phone. We're going to have a Zoom and then we're going to get busy. I want you to bring your seed where we got to get the fertilizer, what tools we need from Home Depot. Is there a farmer's market to get everything we need? We are ready to start growing this summer. 215-989-9858 I want the food already growing when the children start school next August not this August next August I already want the crops we're going to take food to the elders we're going to have our own farmer's market right there on FDMG campus don't talk about it. Be about it. Will the real institution builders please stand up? Black woman, if you serious about the revolution, if you serious about saving your people, don't date any black man who ain't trying to build for black people. Your boyfriend in law school. Good. We need some lawyers. But what is he building for black America? Your husband is an engineer. That's good. We need engineers. But what is he building for black America? Black man, you have to revolutionize your romance. You shouldn't be dating no black woman who's only concerned about weaves and pocketbooks. We ain't got time for that no more. Black man, you cannot afford to be dating black women who are only concerned about where you taking her for dinner. We ain't got time for that right now. If your queen ain't trying to build for the future, find you a real woman because she not it. She not it. We can no longer sit around and fight with each other. We got to organize and build. We got to organize and build. Yes, I'm on TikTok. Prince of Pan-Africanism with a K. Prince of Pan-Africanism with a C is a bootleg page. Prince of Pan-Africanism with a C is a bootleg page. I'm trying to get him taken down. He got over 2 million followers in all of my content. The real Dr. Umar is Prince of Pan-Africanism with Africa spelled with a K. Let's start the FDMG Farmer's Market. Let's start the FDMG Garden this summer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Institution builders should only be dating institution builders. Institution builders should only be dating institution builders. I'm not going to type my TikTok because if you go to my social media and click on my link tree, you can find it. Stop being lazy. Congressional Black Caucus is real quiet. Congressional Black Caucus is real quiet. Al Sharpton is real quiet. You, the Black Church is real quiet. They have nothing for you. And they know the Democrats don't either. They have nothing for you. And they know the Democrats don't either. They have nothing for for you and they know the Democrats don't either. Brothers and sisters, this is your big brother King Kong. Thanks to all my New Orleans family who came out last night. We trying to finish up this school. We're going to try to finish painting this weekend as much as we can. If you want to help us paint Saturday and Sunday, you need to donate to the school and text me a screenshot. If you want to help us paint Saturday and Sunday, Saturday or Sunday and or Sunday, 11 to 7, Wilmington, Delaware, come on out, bring the children if they're old enough to paint. We're going to try to paint and then do them floors. Once we paint and do them floors, once we paint and do them floors, we ready for the inspection. 
Once we paint and do them floors, we ready for the inspection, brothers and sisters. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Will the real institution builders please stand up? I'm in New Orleans. I'm in New Orleans. Yes, you have to donate to come help paint. You donate the Louis Vuitton, I don't hear no complaints. You donate the Gucci, I don't hear no complaints. You donate the Nike, I don't hear no complaints. That's what's wrong with you Americanized Negroes. You don't have a problem. Oh, you ain't got no time for that. You ain't got no money. That's why we're going to go around snatching melanin. All summer long, I'm snatching melanin. I'm snatching your melanin. You don't want to be African? No problem. Give me your melanin and go join the pink people. You don't want to be African? No problem. Give me your melanin and go join the pink people. Snatch your melanin. If you donate $5, you're not coming to paint because to me, that's not a respectable donation. I'm not going to tell you how much to donate. But if you're donating $5, we don't need you on paint day. Day after tomorrow. We don't need you. Now, the queens told me not to shave my beard off. The Ifa Tunde queendom. No rice bunnies, no snow bunnies, no sand bunnies, no salsa bunnies. No salsa, no sand, no snow, no rice. I said, no salsa, no sand, no snow, no rice. I said, no salsa bunnies, no snow bunnies, no sand bunnies, no rice bunnies. We ain't against nobody else. We trying to build up ourselves. We ain't against nobody else. We just trying to build up ourselves, brothers and sisters, against nobody else. What's going on in New Orleans tonight? Anything? Spoken word? Black community organization meeting? What's going on tonight, family? What's going on tonight, family? They will reject all advances from Negropeans. If the snow bunnies care about the future of black America, reject all thirsty, low self-esteem Negropean males. That's all. Reject them. Reject them. Send them back to their community. That's all you got to do. I always speak on gun violence, my brother. You must not follow me. So as far as the Caucasian couple that was caught enslaving their five black foster children, as far as the Caucasian couple that was caught enslaving their five black foster children, we can't complain because we won't adopt our own children. We won't adopt our children and we don't want to foster parent no black children. What they did was horrendous and wrong. They should get the death penalty. They should get the death penalty. But black people can't complain. They would have never got those children if we would have taken those children. They would have never got those children if we would have taken those children. We don't like to foster and adopt black children. We don't like to foster and adopt black children. Why do you think all the celebrities went to Haiti during the Haiti earthquake getting those black kids? They go to Ethiopia getting those black kids. They go to South America getting those black kids. You know why? Because there's a thin line between being a child and being a slave. There's a thin line between being a child and being a slave. And the reason they like to adopt 
international black children instead of American black children is those children don't know their rights. Those children never going to say, take me back home. Those children are never going to say, take me back home. Those children are never going to call the police. Those children don't know how to dial 911. Those children don't know their rights. So they want Haitian black kids. They want Ethiopian black kids. They want Congolese black kids. They want Brazilian black kids because they don't know their rights and they never going to ask to go home. They're never going to ask to go home. Ethiopia doesn't have the infrastructure to track down her foster children. Congo doesn't have the infrastructure to track down her foster children. Brazil isn't going to search out its black foster children. That's why they love getting African children from other countries and continents because there's no oversight. There's no supervision. There's no investigation. We not donating melanin, we only snatching melanin. We not donating melanin, we only snatching melanin. 